Well, the athletes are heading out onto the track then. Led out, as you can see, by Belgium for his first of three heats. Switzerland behind them. And Spain, Italy in the blue. And Poland, the host nation. And my word, how well do they carry the baton again and again? Their leadoff runner is just 17 years old. They make sure they get plenty of experience early on. And this meeting is, to some degree, one that bloods athletes early. Gives them great experience in a big stadia. The real pressure. And all the procedures of coming into a championships like this is what they have to go through too, which is a great learning experience for so many of them. Plenty of experience here as well, though, Jenny, and this Polish squad is strong. The Polish squad is always strong in every event, but particularly this women's 4x400 four metres. The amount of titles and medals they've won over the last few years is absolutely incredible. Of course, they've already qualified for the Tokyo Olympics later in the summer, but I'm sure as hosts of this championship, they'll want to put on a great performance here. One thing I must remind you, and I might do again a couple of times over the next two days, that these are not a championships. There are no champions winning here. There are no defending champions, and there are no medals awarded. What you have is previous winners, and the winners two years ago in Yokohama were indeed Poland. A bit of a surprise that ahead of the USA and Italy. But uh, Belgium go in lane three here. They're not using the first the two inside lanes to uh, give the athletes the gentler bends, but Belgium in three, Switzerland in four, Spain in five, then Italy in six, Poland on the outside in seven. There you can see Cynthia Bolingo, a very experienced uh, Belgian lead-off athlete, 28 years old, European indoor silver medalist at 400 metres a couple of years ago. As a best of 51.69 outdoors, she'll be passing over to Ververt, Kaukait and Laos. Lead-off athlete for Switzerland is uh, Silke Lemons, Gallego for Spain, Lucudo for Italy, Lisevitz for Poland on the outside in lane seven. Well, we had glorious weather here yesterday. It was about 17, 18 degrees and lovely sunshine over the city. But today has been gray and cloudy and uh, spits of rain here and there since we uh, got up this morning. But the stadium is a complete bowl. It really is a glorious arena, a capacity of 55,000 when it's full. It's obviously used for football as well. And it is, in fact, the national stadium even though we're uh, a couple of hundred kilometres and more from Warsaw. It's a nine-lane track, you may have noticed, just in case that is a format that's needed. But uh, in this first heat, five teams. The first two go through by right to tomorrow's final, with the next two fastest non-automatic qualifiers in effect going through as well. A lot to run for, of course, sir. Uh, Many of these teams have got their places booked in Tokyo already by dint of finishing in the top eight or making the final, I should say, at the World Championships two years ago in Doha. But uh, this is a major opportunity for teams who didn't make that final in Qatar to grab a place. So teams in this one who have made the uh, Olympic Games already Belgium and Poland, unsurprisingly. Bolingo with the inside line from lane three. We'll get a good view of her opponents on his first leg. So Poland's lead-off athlete then, out in lane seven, the outside lane effectively, as I said, just 17 years old. She ran the third leg for the quartet that won the European Indoor title just a few weeks ago here in Poland, in Torun, in the 4x400 metres. There is uh, Rafaela Boheng Lukudo, bronze medalist back in 2019 at the European Indoor 4x4. Has a best of uh, 52.38, although she has her on a relay split of just outside 51. Gallego of Spain, Sara Gallego, just 20 years old. All smiles, nervous. She's a good 400-meter hurdler, 56.9 400-meter hurdler. Hasn't run a great deal quicker for 400 on the flat. Silke Lemons, 21-year-old leadoff athlete for Switzerland. 53.1 is her fastest ever time outdoors. That was last year. She is the Swiss indoor champion, though, this last indoor season. And Cynthia Bolingo, as we've seen already. Good athlete, three years ago, ran 51.69. We'll pass over to Vavert, Kakaut and Laos. And there is a distinct advantage 
in a lane event like this to having those outside you over the uh, barriers 400 meter hurdles you're too focused on getting that stride pattern right and the barriers themselves to pay too much attention of what's going on around you but in the flat races well of course you can certainly gauge your effort by those around you and if you're uh, in lane three four in a race like this that's just about the perfect draw to uh, judge your effort according to your opponents but you still want to get the optimal optimum time out of your legs in a relay Well, Poland's Lisa Witz on the outside there to ride a picture in the red shorts in lane seven. Running blind in effect, but that doesn't matter. They are very, very competent uh, carriers of the baton and one lap races generally. And she's easing away here now. Certainly looks to me like Lisa Witz of Poland's left of picture is building a lead. Although going well is Switzerland's Lemons. She has moved right up onto the shoulder of Gallego of Spain there. And uh, five is Gallego. To the right of picture is Bolingo of Belgium. She's uh, judged this well too, looking strong as the stagger unwinds in her favour. But certainly Lisa Witz here at just 17. What a raw talent she is. Building up a big lead for the Poles. Don't forget, of course, of course the stagger doesn't unwind until they get into the back straight, so there is a third bend to unwind just yet. But Poland certainly handing over in the lead, Jenny. Yeah, that was a great lead leg um, for the Polish athlete. And Poland has started well, haven't they? And we can see Belgium there in lane three. Actually look like they're going to take the break in the lead, which is a little bit of a surprise, but maybe we shouldn't have expected too much because Bolingo is the European indoor silver medalist. But this is a Polish athlete who's really experienced here. She's actually got the lead now, and uh, interesting to see the Polish are really mixing this relay team up. They've got abundance of riches reeling. They could almost put, you know, four of maybe ten athletes onto this leg. But, uh, yeah, stretching away now as we come to the end of the second leg. Yes, Malgorzata Holub-Kovalik for Poland leading. She is the European champion and has a four or five metre lead, and it's stretching away from Poland, from uh, Belgium now. Remember, only two teams go through by right from this at the moment. Poland and Belgium well clear of Italy in third and then Switzerland in fourth and Spain bringing up the rear at the moment. Yes, third leg athlete here for Belgium is Pauline Kaukait and breathing down the neck of the Polar Kinga Gaczka. Gaczka, lovely, smooth-looking athlete to the left of picture there, isn't she? But she has to gauge her effort in relays. It's always so much nicer to be a metre behind somebody or on their shoulder with that baton in hand and be able to attack them. You've got a target, so to speak. Italy, Italy having a good run here through Nardelli on this third leg. They come into the straight. It's been a fabulous leg from Belgium's Kalkite onto the shoulder of Gaczka of Poland. Now down the home straight and challenging the Poles. And the Italians still closing slightly. Yeah, we didn't expect this, did we? This is going to be run all the way to the wire. And, of course, you've already mentioned it, Tim. Some of these women will be running for final spots as well. The final, of course, tomorrow. So they'll be trying to register as fast a time as possible. They'll want to make sure that they're in that strike fall this time tomorrow. Into the back straight, then still Poland in command. This is Natalia Kaczmarek with uh, Belgium's Camila Laus in second place. Focused on that white vest of the host nation. The gap back to Italy has grown a little. It's about 15 metres now to the Italian anchor leg runner, Folorunzo. She's very experienced, Folorunzo, but I'm sure well, that is a gap that she won't be able to close. The time, absolutely critical, so she must run hard in that blue strip of Italy. As down the home straight, Poland are again challenged by the Belgians. Laos here, easing onto the shoulder of Katzmarek. Is she going to get there? I don't think so. Katzmarek stays strong, holds her form well, and takes the win by a metre there. 328.10 from Belgium. The hosts win with Italy in third, and Switzerland there just out dipping Spain. I think they had their own private little battle quite a few metres back. But Belgium booked their place in the final, hence the smiles. she might smile because that from Camila Laos was a superb final leg. She almost had the audacity there to catch Kaczmarek of uh, Poland. They are the uh, champions from two years ago, or the winners from two years ago, I should say. The Poles. <laughs> one of the mascots there, one of the four mascots that uh, 
represent the Silesian Zoo, which is just adjacent to the stadium here. That is uh, Maji, the cheetah. I'm sure we'll see the others uh, in due course. You can see in the background there, Linai. But here we are, this is just the final stretch now, and Laos is really going for it, isn't it? You can see the concentration, the determination on her face. She was hoping to take the win, but automatic qualification for both teams there. Here's the first changeover. Not quite as delicate a procedure, needing the precision as four by 100 meter uh, relay running. But nonetheless, every centimeter counts. Here's the second changeover between Poland's Holub. Kovaluk and Gatschka. Look at that roar from Holub Kovaluk. Gatschka coming in with Kaukite right up alongside her. That was a fabulous leg from Belgium's third leg runner, Pauline Kaukite. That was an insurmountable lead for the Italian uh, ankle leg runner, Ayomide Folorunzo. But the Poles, well, they are majestic 400 meter runners. They never look as overly strained when they're under pressure. They hold their form so well, Jenny. Yeah, I'm sure she did feel under pressure. You know, there's a lot of pressure coming into this event. I think especially for the Polish women, you know, they want to obviously win on our home territory. But uh, the Polish um, were incredibly forward to seeing how they'll shape up in the final tomorrow. Well, let's confirm that result for your season's best, of course, for Poland with 328.11, only half a second or so ahead of...